They said dude was good. They was like he was fucking good and shit. That's how this was up. They said he's a man, man. Mm, a talented guy. Yeah, there you go. Hey, welcome to the Gritty Reboot. This is Ruby's Cube. That's Rock Raw right there. Um, we're here to talk about movies and other things, all that other kinds of shit that maybe like one billion, one billion one other YouTube subscribers are talking about. But um, what's the difference though, Rob? We fly, you know what I'm saying? Like we keep it extra real. If a nigga leave a comment we don't like, we have hackers that are able to track them by their IP address. We will go to the nigga crib, one cross the face, two cross the face, and that's how we settle our differences. So what other niggas you know talking about movies that's going to do some real shit like that? There you Back have to it. you, Rubik's. There you have it. <laughs> um, what we're going to do is we're going to talk about um, all kinds of things. Um, the first thing we're going to get into is comic book movie fatigue. Fatigue, not to be confused with Schwimmer fatigue, that happened in the late '90s from Friends. Yeah, that did happen. Mm -hmm. He's back though. He's on the OJ show. Yeah, doing a pretty good job too. Yeah, he's doing a good job. See, it comes full circle. We're gonna speed that up when we edit it. But comic book movie fatigue. Um, I'm gonna get your feel. I have my feelings that I have. You know, it's kind of my, you know, my shit. I'm going to put him forward, but I want to pick Rock's brain first because he's new to the show for the first time. Yeah. So, so what do you feel about that? Do you even think that's a thing? Do you think that's some kind of just obscure thing people are just putting out there or something I people think, want? I think it was actually more valid years ago when they weren't making good comic book movies. Yeah. Like when the Spider-Mans and the... X Men and um, you know movie, that generation Ghost Rider Daredevil. Yeah. I think they had comic book fatigue then yeah. because the movies just weren't they good. Weren't good. Yeah. Now the movies are good. Yeah, I don't hear nobody complaining except for people who don't like comic books and like and like they have to viscerally not like comic books. It can't be like like I just never paid attention to comic books. Like I hate comic books so fuck comic book movies. Yeah. Those are like the only people that like have a problem. With yeah. comic book movies, because even people who never read the shits, they just look at them as action movies. Yeah, because they're just the good way movies. My, yeah, that's the way my girlfriend is. She's she's never, as, as far as I know, read a comic no, book. None of the canon in her life doesn't know any story, but loves everyone that comes out because she loves action movies. And that's they're sweet. Nice they're the best stuff. action movies. Yeah, it's either you go watch that, you go watch one of the many Fast and Furious sisters, or you go watch one of the Expendables sisters. Sisters. That is, um, yeah. I mean, yeah, I feel you on that. But, um, I don't know. I, I just, to me, the whole thing, I think it might have been broached before, but the whole thing really came to a head to me when Steven Spielberg made a comment about how the Western was the movie of its day at the time and that it had its day and that it, it had come and gone and that the same thing could happen. Uh, it seemed like he was like, it, it will happen. It wasn't like it could happen. But he was like that, that that could happen with comic book movies or superhero movies. And a lot of people looked at it as Spielberg throwing shade, you know, the kind of like the new thing that's out there, you know, because he's gotten a lot of flag, you know, <coughs> Crystal Skull. And um, for some things he's done lately, even though I saw Bridge of Spies, Bridge of Spies was pretty good. It, it was nothing particularly Spielbergian about it. That, what does that mean? I don't know. It, it, it's... Spielberg sucks. I think that nigga's overrated. I don't think that nigga can eat a dick. Breaking news. Um, is that breaking news? Like, do people... Is that, like, consensus that he's overrated? Um, I don't know. I think it's a consensus amongst... Well, I guess that defeats the purpose of the word consensus. And he got all his money off. a lot of people, it, they feel that way, but there are people that always will. Yeah. Nigga yeah, got all his money off of Alien B. Yeah, pretty much. You can't trust no nigga like that. I heard. What's your favorite Spielberg? Movie? My favorite Spielberg movie. Did they ever make a Tiny Toons movie? Wow. Or Animaniacs? Didn't he do that? That was the realest shit Steven Spielberg he ever did. 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 Was Tiny Toons and Animaniacs? That's the realest well, shit. That. I don't know how much he. Was well, that shows you. That's what he should do. He should just put money in this shit and shut wow. the fuck up. So you don't like any Spielberg movies? I don't know. I, I like Schindler's List. Was that Spielberg? Yeah. I like it. It was alright. 
Yeah, it's a nice light light day at the some moment. Light, some yeah, light. That's something like. Um, um what about E. T.? Yeah, that's alright. What about the color purple? Yeah, that's alright. What about um Saving Private Ryan? Yeah, that's alright. So far I'm, I'm not I'm not <laughs> Ain't none of them shit's better than Tiny Toons or Andy <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Okay, so Tiny Toons is the best thing he's ever done. Animaniacs. Yeah. Animaniacs is probably better than Tiny Toons. Yeah, Animaniacs. Animaniacs and shit. You okay. had good feathers on that jet, yo. Yeah? They did. She could do. Good feathers. They did have the good You know what I'm saying? It was sweet, yo. <laughs> Fuck that. That's the sweetest shit he ever did. <laughs> nah, but, um, okay, we got crazy. Yo, we, was, we started off talking about Cowboy <laughs> Fatigue, and we're talking about Animaniacs and Steven Spielberg now. 